Hi, welcome to another episode of Food Review Friday. I'm Matt, co-founder of Free Life Food, where reading labels is optional. Today we're going to go over cat's apple pie. It's a dessert episode, very excited. This dessert is gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and soy-free. So it fits a variety of people's food issues. The box has the same picture on front and back, so we're only going to go over that real quick. And then we're going to go over the other stuff and how we felt about it. So let's get started. So the box, like I said, both sides says cat's gluten-free, full of taste. It does say right, right here on the box, uh, dairy-free, nut-free, soy-free, gluten-free, apple pie. They have their website, uh, and you can go to the website and ask them gluten-free questions. Uh, the pie is as good as the picture looks. If we go to the ingredients, gluten-free flour, tapioca, white rice, Sorghum, corn, palm oil, water, egg yolks, sugar, salt, xanthan gum, apple filling, apples, sugar, corn, starch, cinnamon, salt. It does contain eggs, so it's dairy free, but it is not egg free, and I know those two kind of correlate sometimes, so watch for that if you have any food issues with those. Um, this Pie is considered four servings. So I did want to mention, being that it's diabetic week, um, if you eat this as a fourth of a piece instead of like me, I ate most of the pie. Uh, one serving is very low on carbs. It is actually 35 carbs total for a dessert is not that bad. And the sugars for one serving is 17 grams. So it's not that high on sugar. And it's a decent amount of carbs for a uh, dessert. So not too bad if you're diabetic. Because I know you got to count your carbs and stuff like that. So uh, overall, actually, uh, I loved it. Especially because most gluten-free apple pies I've tried... The crust is mushy and, and very uh, frail. It just breaks and just doesn't work very well at all. And the apple and everything just kind of, it's just like big mush and it is not very satisfying. This was super satisfying. Uh, love the cat's line. I've tried their donuts as well and we'll review those in another episode. But flavor is amazing. For a gluten-free crust, it's as close as you can get to a real crust, in my opinion, from, from what I remember of real crust made with flour and wheat and stuff like that. But um, super flavorful, very amazing. Highly recommend you get it. I got mine at Sprouts. So go check out your Sprouts or your local health stores and see if they have any of the cat's line and highly recommend them. Um, I did want to mention real quick for cooking, if it is frozen, it's 300 degrees for 35 minutes, and if it's thawed, it's 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Uh, we did exactly that time. They don't vary. Some give you like a five number variance of time, and this was just pop it in for that exact amount of time and we did and it worked out great so again loved it my wife loved it she likes her crust a little better and my son loved it as well we all liked the flavor and it wasn't overpowering on the cinnamon or the apple flavor so again thank you for watching another production from free life food where reading labels is optional Comment below. Let us know what you think of this episode. Let us know if there's anything you want us to review. Uh, click the little bell. Subscribe so that you can continue to get these episodes to let you know what things are, are good for us and hopefully safe for you so you don't have to read the labels. Don't forget to follow, 
subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, all that stuff. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you on Monday.